Welcome to Tranok Chemistry Classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic, acid bases. In this acid bases concept, this is my fourth video. In first video, I have discussed about Arrhenius acid base theory and then bronsted lowry theory was discussed. In third video, I have discussed about conjugate acid base pair and how to write the conjugate acid or conjugate base for a given species. In this video, I am going to discuss about Lewis acid base theory. Thank you for watching Tranath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. Arrhenius acid base theory. According to Arrhenius acid base theory, what is an acid, what is a base? According to Arrhenius acid base theory, the substances which increase the which increase the hydronium ion concentration. Hydronium ion concentration, hydronium ion concentration are called acids, and which increase the hydroxyl ion concentration. Hydroxyl ion concentration are called bases. So the substances which, which increase the hydronium ion concentration when dissolved in water are called arrhenius acid. And the substances which increase the hydroxyl ion concentration when dissolved in water are called arrhenius bases. But there are certain limitations in this theory. That is mainly this theory is applicable only to aqueous solutions. And it failed to explain the basic nature of certain substances like ammonia and also acidic nature of electron deficient compounds such as BF3 or aluminum chloride like that. So to overcome those limitations, Bronsted and Lowry proposed one more theory. We call it as a Bronsted Lowry acid base theory. Bronsted Lowry acid base theory. So according to this Bronsted Lowry acid base theory, Proton donor is called acid. Proton donor is called acid. And proton acceptor is called base. Proton acceptor is called base. Proton donor is called uh, acid, bronsted acid. Proton acceptor is called bronsted base. Right? Based on this, we were able to explain what is an acid, how to, how to recognize an acid or base. But this theory also failed to explain the or uh, acidic nature of electron deficient species such as BF3. Electron deficient species such as BF3, AlCl3 and so on. So to explain this, one more theory has come. That one we are calling it as the Lewis acid base theory. Lewis acid base theory. Lewis acid base theory. According to Lewis acid base theory, the species which donates electron pair is called Lewis base. Lewis base. And uh, the species which accept electron pair is called Lewis acid. Lewis acid. Right. So, according to this Lewis acid base theory, electron pair, the substance, the species which can donate electron pairs is called Lewis base. And uh, the substance, the substance which can accept electrons, electron pairs from others is called Lewis base. Lewis base. Simply what we can see is from electron pair donor is called, electron pair donor is called base and electron pair acceptor is called acid. Electron pair donor is called base. Electron pair acceptor is called acid. And based on this theory, let me take, let me explain with an example how it is uh, rectifying the, or how to, how it is explaining the acidic and basic nature of substances. Right? So, for example, if you take BF3. So, we know that BF3 has less number of electrons, boron trifluoride, and we know that this is the Lewis structure of boron, and this is the Lewis structure of fluorine. 
Lewis structure of fluorine. And uh, here, if you observe, this is the Lewis structure of BF3. So it is interacting with three fluorine atoms. And uh, here, the fluorine is getting octet, this fluorine also getting octet, this fluorine is also getting octet. But what is the central atom? Boron is getting only six electrons. So BF3 has less number of electrons for writing the conventional Lewis structure. Lewis structure. That's why these molecules are called electron deficient molecules. Electron deficient molecules. Electron deficient molecules. So if you take BF3, BF3 has an empty orbital. BF3 has an empty orbital like this. You see, this is the boron and the 2s and this is the 2p. 2s2, 2p1. And in excited state, what is the electronic configuration? One of the electron goes to here. So there is a one vacant orbital on this uh, boron atom. So here, this is the boron. Around the central atom. So here, we know that ammonia has, in ammonia, nitrogen has lone pair of electrons. Nitrogen has lone pair of electrons. So this is the ammonia. So I am writing for my convenience like this. And we know that BF3 has a vacant orbital on boron. So here it is donating a species. And here it is forming. So as it is electron pair donor, it is called Lewis base. As it is accepting electron pairs, this is called Lewis acid. So this is the thing. Similarly, we can explain the formation of ammonium ion. So ammonium ion, NH4 plus ion is formed from NH3 and H plus. We know that nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons in ammonia and H plus has a vacant orbital. So it is electron pair is donating. That's why this is called Lewis base. And as it is accepting, it is called Lewis acid. So H3, M. Here, like this, H plus. Overall, we can write it as a NH4 plus. Right? So, this is the uh, as Lewis acid base. Theory. So, electron pair donor is called Lewis base. Electron pair acceptor is called Lewis acid. Lewis acid. So, what are the limitations in this Lewis acid base theory? The major limitation in this Lewis acid base theory is uh, uh, it failed to explain the strength of acids and bases. In my, uh, in Arrhenius theory also, Arrhenius theory and as well as bronsted lowry theory also we have discussed what is a strong acid, what is a weak acid, what is a strong base, what is a weak base. In Arrhenius theory, I told that uh, uh, the one which increases more number of uh, hydrogen ion concentration is called strong acid and the one which increases less number is called weak acid. Similarly, hydroxyl ion also the same thing. Similarly, the species which can donate proton easily is called, which can donate proton easily is called proton easily is called a uh, uh, strong acid. But the proton which cannot donate easily is called weak acid. Weak acid. So the major limitation is it failed to explain the strength of acids and bases. Thank you for watching Tranath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.